Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me, your favorite content creator, MZM. We're back today with a different game. We're not playing Left 4 Dead today, but don't worry. it's We're still playing it. We're still completing that. But while that was happening, a, a new game dropped that I was really excited for and I really want to play. And that game being Epic Mickey Rebrushed. Only for the PlayStation 5. Except I lied to you. It's not only for the PS5, it's for everything else. I just got the PS5 version because that's the only next-gen console I own. So yeah, we're just going to play it, see how far I get. If I get bored with it, whatever. I'm not really aiming to beat the game or anything, but if we do that, cool. Cool, dude. Cool beans. So yeah, let's just get right into it. And yeah, I brought a Kool-Aid jammer to the recording. What did you bring, dude? Fucking water? It's cringe. You're cringe, dude. Log off immediately. So this is made by... THQ in Purple Lamp. Um, they also did the uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom remake a while ago. And that game was iffy at launch. They fixed a bunch of the issues that I had with it later down the line, but hopefully this is good, you know? All right, here we go. That intro was sick, by the way. Uh, very well detailed. Here's the opening. I will. I'm gonna keep talking over it in case Disney is uh, gonna copyright claim my ass. This game is definitely one of the, it was one of those weird license games that was around during my childhood. It was like one of the first games that I beat, but when I say I beat, I mean like my dad beat it for me and I was just there to watch. But yeah, it was on the Wii, uh, replaying it a while ago when the remake was announced. I replayed it for the Wii uh, privately and <laughs> that game did not, it did not age well. A lot of camera issues. Camera's a big complaint everyone had. I think it's one of the things they addressed in this. I haven't been following the progress with the remake that much, but you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I very vividly remember this cutscene. Um, fun fact. At a later part in this cutscene, when uh, the shadow lock comes and kidnaps our funny little mouse protagonist, uh, little me ran out of the room screaming because it was too scary for me. Granted, this was like 2008 and I was, what, I was like five when this game came out or something. Something along those lines. I was really young and it scared the absolute shit out of me, so. Oh yeah, that little mouse fucker. God has created his ultimate creation in the image of himself, yet it remains unperfect. This is either a testament to God's cruelty, or that he is, in fact, capable of creating imperfect beings. I will say, the cutscene is really well, really well done. They did a great job reanimating it. Uh, looks beautiful, as most modern games should. Uh, when you're doing a remake of this caliber, I think you're kind of obligated to not fuck everything up. And then he became the mascot of a multinational corporation, hell-bent on the conglomeration of all forms of media, creating a monopoly not unseen by any generation previous. Damn. Damn, Mickey be getting that sloppy in bed? Call me Mickey? <laughs> Yeah, this part this part scared the shit out of me as a kid. But now it just it just looks weird. Granted, I'm like 20 years older. It's just silly. All right, all right. We finally get to see a in-game cutscene, I assume. Oh, that looks amazing. <laughs> I love that they kept Mickey uh, so expressive. That's definitely my favorite part of the game, or one of my favorite parts, is just uh, very expressive characters, which, you know, for a Disney game, you're kind of obligated to, but the little Swiss Army robot. Let's get to the gameplay. I'm terrible at commentating over cutscenes. Let's get to the, let's get some gameplay up in this shit. Oh shit, that rat's pissed off. As someone speaking from experience, you do not want to mess with a rat that's been pissed off. It always ends in like pure bloodshed. At least four people will die, like guaranteed. You can't lower that number anymore. Science has tried and science has failed. There's that rabbit motherfucker. Eh. Watch that, Dak. Oh shit, he's pissed. He's red, his eye turned red. All right, and now we turn to actual gameplay. There's that Roald Dahl motherfucker. He's here to start spewing some uh, anti-Semitic garbage. 
just like Raul Dahl himself. My biggest hope for this game is that they cut down on all the tutorial shit, or at least give you an option to skip it, because in the original, the tutorial was like so long and so tedious, I hated it. All right. So I was, I was curious how the controls were going to work, but it's actually fairly similar to Battle for Bikini Bottom. Like, square would be your, like, spin attack. And then, let's see, what else can we do? Let's just head over to Gus. We're safe at this spot, Mickey. This control panel can be damaged with your spin move. Use it by pressing square. I almost said triangle. I don't know why. I was even looking at a picture of a square. My brain is just completely destroyed. There's no hope for me. All right, here we go. So I know that there's a dash move in the game. I assume it's... Yeah, it's circle. That's gonna make movement at least a little bit more manageable. Just because, uh, you know, it gives you some more mobility. Alright, there we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's dead. We have taken the sentience away from that poor creature's body. You may take a moment to explore if you'd like. Alright, fine. I'll do what I want, Gus. Don't tell me. Don't tell me what to do, bro. Oh, that's cool. The, like, cartoon interactables, when you hit them, they kind of, like, gray out. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, a, you know, let's get this. Let's get this right now. I'm like a, I'm a mouse-like creature in some ways. That's a collectible pin, one of many. It's just like the real Disney World. This game is just one big fucking advertisement for Disney World, and I stand by that. Oh shit, there's a run button. Dude, this is what a remake should do, is it should fix every issue that the original had. It's okay if it introduces a few new issues, like, for example, some issues that are intrinsically linked to the design of the game, but... Oh! Shit. But if it if you can fix it, fix it in the remake. Let's get this. Enough dilly dallying. Let's let's get out of here. It's kind of spooking me out. Oh, I gotta get back home. I got pulled into this place by that creature of the night. Oh, you mean you mean Carl? Me and him go way back. Well, you seem scared of my gun. Whoa. Well, shit. If it can destroy cartoon objects, I'm just, I'm pretty fairly certain I know why he's scared of it. And it can create. You're, you might just be God himself. Where'd you get that brush? Huh. You can skip the cutscenes. Press or hold L2 to use thinner and R2 to use paint. Okay. I was kind of curious how they were going to do the paint bullshit, but it seems pretty intuitive. Like, the default sensitivities is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I was a little worried that it was going to be, like, clunky to use the paint and thinner, but I'm actually liking it so far. It's pretty, pretty well done, THQ, I'll give you that much. All right. So I know a cutscene's coming up here, like another one of those uh, drawn ones. Uh, it's just tutorial, if it's tutorial shit, I'm sorry, I'm gonna skip it just because it's boring and dude, it's Oswald. Oh buddy, I'm not looking for a fight. I ain't looking for anything. All right, it's so the introduction to the Sears. Gus just tells you how to fight. I already know how to fight. You spray him with the blue to make him friendly. You spray him with the green to kill him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the good ending, all the good stuff. So you know, right. they just both attacked me even though they were friendly. <laughs> this is a pressure plate. The lower when you step on it. You're pressing triangle while being in the air. Do I have a ground pound? I have a. I have a ground pound. What purpose is that gonna serve? Unless they redesigned a few areas. I mean, it makes the switches go down faster. All right. First morality check of the game. Let's see. Do I want to kill this man for $500? Careful. I feel like that this cutscene was supposed to pay, play when I entered the area, not when I was leaving it. Fire, fire this catapult if it's disturbed. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm gonna try to go for the good ending. If the comments tell me otherwise, like if there's a very compelling argument to go for the bad ending for stuff, I will do it, but I'll try my best to go for the good ending. And there we go. It's just gone. Like that. 
a gold pin. Now we gotta do some... Yeah, I'm not using thinner. That's another thing I'm curious to see how they handled, is the part of the game where they show you how the Guardian stuff works. Because in the Wii version, you had to, like, shake the remote. And it was animated in the cutscene. They had a Wii remote animated there. So I'm curious how they're gonna do that if they actually had the studio reanimate the cutscene. That would be pretty cool. But I doubt they would do that for like every type of controller. Maybe they do a generic controller, I don't know. Ooh, is that a sketch? Hell yeah. Extra content? I can view other art? I can make one of those videos that's like, Epic Mickey, all extra content. And it's just like a f 10 minute video of just going through menus and it's boring as shit. Like there's not even any extra music playing. Okay, can I do the dash in the air though? Because if I can do that in the air, that'd be unlock some pretty broken movement potential. I cannot. So yeah, I'll show you guys right now to prove I'm not lying, right? So you press, you press B, so I'm gonna jump. Nothing, nothing boys. Bad game, zero out of 10 IGN. I mean, it's pretty cool you can do it on the ground, but you already have the run, so I don't know why you would need two speedy options. For the ground. Ready to enter? Oh shit. You gotta press triangle to accept. That's pretty weird. It's gonna take some getting used to. What, what do you mean portal? It's a projector screen. Is it natural for cartoons? All right. Shut your Bugs Bunny looking ass up, dude. All right. Uh, I gotta say, in the first, uh, in the original, actually, this ain't a sequel, uh, the 2D sections were probably my least favorite part, just because there was a ton of backtracking in the game, so you had to go through like certain 2D sections like all the time and it got very repetitive and also that they weren't very deeply designed uh so yeah uh. oh yeah I have a ground pound there we go yeah so the ground pounds like free using springs or some shit uh. if I press but I wonder, because it looks like... Holy shit. Wait, hold on. Sorry, I'm doing some testing. Oh yeah, that definitely gets you more verticality if you, like, double jump and use the spin attack at the same time. I'm definitely going to use that. <laughs> I wonder if that works in the overworld, or if it's just a quirk with the, the 2D levels. More extra content. So I wonder if it's, like, extra... Con oh shit. I wonder if it's, like, concept art for the remake, or, like concept art for the original game and they're just like reimagining the concept art uh, for the original game either way i'm liking it so far i could go to the exit but it looks like there's extra content over here another film reel hey full of beans i'm full of refried beans on a friday night i remember this part of the game very well the uh small world boat ride that we go on in a bit it was definitely something that weirdly imprinted on me as a kid. I don't know how to describe it. That's another thing. The music in this game is fantastic. I'm, I don't really care if they uh, remastered it or not because the original music was just good in the first place. So yeah, we gotta patch up the Steam. We gotta uninstall Steam. It would have been cool if they had some sort of auto-aim system, but I can see how like in large areas like this where there's tons of uh, things to paint, it could target the wrong things and piss players off, but, you know. Oh, shut up, Gus. Okay, I don't know why I had to interrupt my gameplay to tell me this, but, you know, I'm not a baby. I could probably figure this out myself. Let's just make sure there's no hidden content below the depths of the earth. We very well could be. It don't look like it, but you gotta be certain sometimes. Hold on. <laughs> oh shit. How am I supposed to get back? Okay. It wasn't that hard. Because it's a game for kids. My patented catchphrase, it's a game for kids. That's a new animation. I like it. The spatters definitely look creative. We got it. Huh. Oswald is a motherfucker, dude. I'm telling you. Let's get that extra content. I see a sketch. 
Let's just go. We're in like fucked up Disney World or some shit. Huh. Oh wait, this is the Guardian cutscene. I want to see how they did this. Oh, what the hell? Hold on. <laughs> they just removed the Wii Remote so Vicky's just standing there conducting around. He doesn't even have a paintbrush. That's kind of lazy, guys. Come on. Come on. You couldn't have... It's even... It's something that's easy to draw, too. Their little... Their little chalk sketches. Come on. Come on. Looks like he's trapped. It's just easy. You just spray them with the blue and they become friends. And it's just exponential at that point. There's that, there's that motherfucker. There's that motherfucker right there. I saw him. Did you see him? Instant replay that shit. Come on, do the NFL joke. Also, they weirdly split up this cutscene. The full thing was supposed to play right now because those were enough enemies to guarantee that you got a guardian to spawn. I'm not I'm not complaining. It was just a little lazy that they didn't reanimate Mickey with the Wii remote. All right, what do you want? Yeah, we got to fix all the rides. I've played this game before. The game is very well animated. I'll give them that. Did a great job. I don't know if they had actual Disney animators on, but could have fooled me. There's that wrench. Let me up there. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up there. I saw I saw a trinket. Yes. Yes. I definitely just cheese that, but hey. We got it. In that case, let's go give the gremlin, the little creature, his wrench back. All right, fix that. Fix it, Felix. They call me Felix the way I be fixing it. Actually, you know, I just realized there is a video of me playing the original Epic Mickey on the channel. I don't know if it's still public anymore, but there is definitely... I did a video of me playing the original Epic Mickey at some point. So if it's still public, help. I'll put a- I'll put the little card right here. Wait, hold on. My camera's reversed. I'll put the little card right here if, you know, the video's still public. If it's private, it's private. I'm not relisting it, because if I made it private, it's cringe. But I just remembered that. I'll call this a sequel upload, if you may. These little gear guys were not fun to deal with at all in the original. Like, I'll just- I'll just come out and say it. Oh, I can definitely cheese that. Hold on. Oh, yeah. The platforming? What are you talking about, buddy? You're in my world now. Here we go. We got the paint and thinner pump. The, like, really obvious moral choice. They could have they could have masked it better, but, you know, that's a design issue. Now I can just, quote-unquote, fill it up. Gus is a freak. Oh, what the hell? There's motion control aiming. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Actually, was that pin I got what I would get if I broke the teacup ride? Like it would spin so much the chest would fly off. I gotta look up the uh, bad route for that. That's actually interesting. If I was able to cheese that, I just sequence broke the game. Holy shit. Hold on. So if I'm spraying, right? If I'm spraying my if I'm spraying my mouse fluids everywhere. Yeah, there's there's motion control aiming. How did I not realize this? That's cool. I'm not gonna use it because I don't really like motion controls, but they kept the spirit of the Wii alive. It would have been cool if like the cursor moved around the screen. That's actually really cool. I appreciate them for doing that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It just controls the camera, so it's a little weird, but I like it. Give me that pin. Give me that silver pin. <laughs> hey, party people. Uh, so yeah, my camera just straight up died in the middle of recording. We're going to end this episode early. Uh, it's already about 20 minutes long. I've already edited a, a bit of it. And so yeah, we still got a lot to go. I'm really enjoying this, so I'm going to play some more. So yeah, I'm going to see you all in the next episode. Uh, keep it cool and keep it frosty and uh, buy Disney merchandise. See ya.